So here's the problem. I put the AC in storage and I took it out and now it's noisy. Let's see what we can find. Don't crack it, just pry it carefully. Don't crack it. Do you hear that? Too noisy. It shouldn't make any noise. Too noisy. So let's take this off carefully, the styrofoam. I cleaned this unit last year before I put it away and I'm thinking I may have gotten some water even though I was careful in these bearings but that's why this unit looks clean inside there were dead tree frogs uh, anyway take this nut off you hear that too noisy that that bearings noisy So we'll take, there's a nut on each side of the shaft. There's one here and one here. So we'll take those off and we'll take this clip off. And we'll take this bracket off. We need to get this motor out. See if we can take it apart and put some bearings in it. This has been hard to get apart, uh, but I finally got it apart. Oops, now I'm taking these screws out to separate this. Oh, one thing I one thing to watch is this 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 is a reverse thread on here. And if you don't know what that means, you have no business taking this apart, in my opinion. But uh, besides that, it's uh it's been a little struggle, some rusty fasteners in the bottom, of course, but we got her. Let's see if we can get the bearing out now. There it is. I separated the case. I can see this bearing's bad. When I spin it, I can feel it's coarse. This one's still smooth, but I'll replace both of them. They slide off this shaft. I have to clean this shaft up to make sure it slides off nice and easy. Here's the other half of the. I was able to leave it connected, but you have to be careful you don't damage. Uh, of course, you don't want to damage this uh, evaporator or the condenser, very important, and also uh, just everything. <laughs> but there it is, I'm going to try to get some bearings and uh, we'll see if we can uh, put it back together. I ordered the bearings, the part numbers on each bearing. I got two of them for five dollars, premium bearings. Uh, when I went to remove these, these are I used a method like this. This isn't the right way to do it, but and I put I put a nut on the end here, and I tapped on this with a brass hammer, and this armature slid. So be careful, this armature slid. But I was able to 
tap it back into place. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, these bearings, one, one of these bearings is definitely bad. So I have new ones coming. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this is my first video, so uh, my first YouTube ever, so excuse me for the quality, but uh, I'm going to need some new fasteners. Some of these were very rusty. They were hard to get out, but nonetheless, I did get them all out. Uh, some of the heads were rusted off, so I'm going to need some, a couple new screws. These were worn pretty bad, but they still came out. And... Uh, that's about it. I guess uh, I'll finish this up when I get the parts. The new bearings showed up. Five dollars from eBay. Five dollars for two bearings delivered. And uh, I'm going to clean up this shaft with a little 600 grit emery cloth. Make sure I wipe it very clean. And I'll slide these bearings in place. I'll use something to tap it on a round pipe that will fit over this. Let me see if I can find something. I just used a, a, a wrench that's the same size as the shaft. I'm going to put it on and I just tapped it in place so it's seated against this C-clamp. This side I was able to just push on by hand, squeezing it. You should press it. You should never tap on it. Don't never tap on this outside of the bearing. You'll distort it. So nice and smooth. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can put it together. Yeah, never never tap on the outside of this bearing here. A, a new bearing. The old one you can do what you have to do to get it off, but the new one. Um, only on the inside right here and clean this shaft up. It should slide on smooth until you get down to this wider part of the shaft. I found a lot of corrosion in this thing. It's disappointing. A uh, lot, of, lot of rust and corrosion. I think I'm going to put a drain hole in here. You lose a little efficiency, but uh, this thing's going to rust away before, it, uh, before it's time. I found some new fasteners to replace. I cleaned this all up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vacuum this all out and uh, insert the armature in this. These two halves come apart. I separated this with a chisel very gently. Just tap around the edges to separate it. Don't use force. I'll wipe this clean. Very, everything's gotta be clean inside the motor, very important. All right, I'll start putting it together. I put it back together. It's spinning nice and smooth. Take pictures when you take it apart so you know how everything goes. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of waterproof grease on these rusty surfaces. I don't think I'll ever take it apart again, but try to slow down some of this corrosion. And uh, just keep putting it back the way you uh, took it apart. Back together mostly. Very quiet. It was noisy before, but very quiet. Okay, let's put it together and plug it in. I like to call this the moment of truth here, so let's see. Well, this will be the best feeling AC, AC I've ever had. It's only a $300 machine, but it's sure gonna feel good when this blows out some nice cold air all summer long.